Committee's fly box. We're tying a partridge caddis. So I'm using a Daiichi hook and I'm going to attach my thread. Just using nice tight wraps over the top away from us. First thing we're going to do is take our thread back to our tying point and put some dubbing on. So with this dubbing I just use a little bit at a time and just attach it to the thread and just using my middle finger and my thumb I'm going to spin or tightly wind that or spin that dubbing onto my thread only covering maybe an inch, inch and a half and it's real easy to get too much so be careful. Once I've got my thread loaded up I can um, begin building the body of the fly so just make tight nice even wraps going forward and build a tapered body and I'm not going to go right to the eye of the hook I'm going to stay back about a third of the hook shank so the back two-thirds is is dubbing the front one-third is clear I can start building my wing so I'm going to use natural CDC feather first and this is a real popular feather it comes off the gland of a duck so I'm going to take two of those feathers and line those tips up and then just kind of hold them or brush them down to where I can hold it with my right hand and just measure the length. So I want the tips to extend just over the back, back of the hook and I can switch to my left hand and tie down those feathers. I'm going to trim off the butt ends and just uh, take a second and just uh, tie down some of those butt ends and make a clean thread base in that front one-third of the, the fly there. Now the overwing I'm going to use is partridge feathers. So I'm going to select two good feathers and put those back to back so they V out. Now the trick to this is uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to brush a lot of the uh, excess down to where I can pinch it. I'm going to brush it a lot of this excess down to where I can pinch it. And I really want to sandwich that uh, CDC feather where I can tie that down. Now it's really easy to get too big and I think this wing is a little too big so I need to shorten it a little bit. So let's unwind it and just shorten it down. We're just using the very tips of these and again we want the tip to extend or even out with our CDC feather. So let's try that and we'll tie down those again. That looks a little better. Now we can snip off the excess and come back and just tie down those butts and clean up that little front one-third and try to keep our thread base right there without crowding the head. It's real common to crowd the head, meaning uh, getting too much materials up around the eye. Now we're ready for our hackle. So I'm going to just take uh, some whiting saddle hackle and so the top of the feather is facing me and I'm just going to pluck off some of that fiber so I have a little stem that I can hold right against the hook and tie that in nice and neat and uh, tie it down right there at the one-third spot and advance my thread. Now we can begin wrapping that hackle. Try to make nice even wraps over the top away from us. Just working that hackle forward until we reach the eye of the hook or our thread. Once we're there we can hold that straight up in the air and drop our thread over with our left hand about three times. That'll secure that feather in there. We can trim off the excess. All right, now we're ready to build a little head on there and uh, make a little space for our whip finish. And we'll do our whip finish and try not to capture any hackle fibers. Looks like I got a couple in there that I might need to trim off. And now this uh, fly is uh, ready to go. It's a fluffy, very natural looking fly. It'll ride up there high and hopefully it'll be a good fly for you this summer. Catch a bunch of